More no, what happened to Grandad's allotment? Uh, I'm just doing some, some work on the shed today, putting in some solar panel uh, lights and battery charger. So uh, it's just arrived, so I'll show you what I've got and how I'm going to set it up. Right guys, what I've got here is the solar panel. These are various stickers and fittings. You can actually see on the back there it's got a little indicator whether it's it's charging or not. Uh, and the red light's already come on so it is definitely charging. So that's my solar panel. Uh, a few little fittings which connects it to the battery or to a, um, a car charger so you can charge your car from it. Uh, it also comes with a solar controller. So from this solar controller you connect your, your panel, uh, your battery uh, and a set of lights as well uh, and it'll tell you the, the set voltage. So what I'm going to do is just quickly wire it up to see if it's working uh, and then I'm going to wire it into the shed. So from the panel, has this little connector here. Positive and negative. I'm just going to use the clips for a time being and some wire. So these are all temporary, so <coughs> I use coloured wire so that you can, you can see where they're going. So for the positives. The brown wire or the live wire. And the blue. The negative. You see what I'm doing there. So it's all fairly simply indicated. This was, um, I got this off Wish, um, it's 150 watt solar panel. And it cost 45 quid, I think it was. So not too expensive. I wanted to mainly put a charge of batteries. I've got a lighting system in already. Um, from the batteries but you constantly have to take the batteries home you know when they when they run out and stuff so that's only a, once a year but so let's see what this does positive
Yeah. It's really just for the battery. Didn't charge my phone on that one, am I? I have got another little solar panel that fits direct into a little mini battery which fit, feeds the lights. Um, so I, but I, I can't really recharge a, a car battery from it. see on there it's come up straight away as soon as I connected the battery it's charging the battery um, it's the battery is quite low it's 8.3 volts it's saying there but it is definitely charging 8.4 volts so we'll leave that for a while and um, see how long it takes us to charge the battery Right guys, I've took you off the, the stand so just so you can see what what is going on. Um, obviously the solar panel is there, linked up via positive and negative into there. These two here are the batteries, which is charging the battery, positive and negative. And the end one is to the light. So if I just, I'm gonna switch, so I'm just gonna the light on. I don't know if you can see the voltage exactly. The solar panel is actually generating uh, 9.1 volts and it's you know it's a December day 12th of December um, pretty cold. The battery itself is got 13.7 volts in it and when we draw across to the lights, uh, it's got 12.6 volts available for, for the lights from the battery. Uh, it's got a 24 hour timer as well, which you can, you can change for the lights and things. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get this installed. It's definitely working, definitely charging the battery. I'll get this all installed um, and let you let you see when it's finished. But basically, from the solar panel, positive and negative into there, positive and negative across to the battery, and then you can either run battery from uh, run the lights from there, or I'm going to run from the actual battery um, and do it that way. Two USB ports to charge your phone. Right, let's get cracking. Right guys, I'll show you what I've done. Um, as you can see there, that solar panel there is the small one for the uh, the little lights. Uh, but just there on the roof, kind of reach, but is the other solar panel that's lying more or less flat, um, which is charging a battery. So if I just come into here, uh, little lights there running off this one, which is the little solar panel. Um, they're just plug and play and the battery's actually inside of here so that's constantly on charge um, but it, it just runs the, the sort of plug and play um, LED lights these, these things here um, but I now have got the solar charger on so the it comes on the panel through the through there down positive and negative in um, and then the positive and negative to the battery um, and you can see it's charging at the minute at 12.2 um, volts uh, coming in on a winter's day basically so it, if I'm getting that throughout the year I should get it constantly so through the it, that goes through the, the wall 
onto the other side. And I've got my two battery bank. So at the minute it's charging the dry cell battery. Um, I'll leave it on for a few days and then I'll swap it onto the, uh, the, the car battery. Uh, and at the minute, <clears throat> all I've got running off this is one light, which I've just turned on, so it's got little LEDs there. And this one here and above, above there. Uh, these lights will run off the small battery. I will eventually, um, when I sort this end of the, um, the shed out, put probably something up along here as well. Uh, I've got another couple of little LED strips to, to go in. <coughs> Sorry about that. Got the fire on today, it's nice and toasty in here. So yeah, that's the, the battery system. Dead easy to do, more or less plug and play, strip a couple of wires um, and a couple of connectors and, and that's it. Not really any major instructions to follow. Uh, as long as you can follow positive and negative, then it's dead easy. Right, we'll catch you later. I'm going to get on to the work on the fruit cage. Right, that's the um, electricity done. I hope you found it useful. Um, I say it's dead dead easy um, to do. I'm going to crack on with some other jobs now. Catch us all later.